Hello beautiful Scorpio, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Marie Rose from Tarot Readings Live and PsychicsLive.com.au Today we're here to bring you your reading for the next week, so let's see what we have for Scorpio for the following week. First card, the Void, Scorpio. The Void, something missing in your life, Scorpio. The Unexpected. self-love and on the bottom wisdom look at that Scorpio very clearly here there's something that's missing in your life at the moment and it's something that you felt that you it's either you feel you don't have in your life right now and you wish you did or this is something that happened that you have lost someone who you dearly dearly love and it was very unexpected. So for someone here, either someone has disappointed you or you have lost a loved one, very unexpected. This has brought you a huge, huge void in your life. Not only was this experience or this person valuable, but they meant a lot and they did a lot. And Whatever situation you're in, whether you're looking for something or an answer or you have lost someone, this is not something that uh, is making you feel good. It's, it's really making you feel like you're empty. Part of you is empty. It's like a situation that you are in grieving or really, really upset. It's a situation that's put you in a place of feeling a, a little bit of despair, lost, lonely, but more than anything, a huge void that's presented in your life. And I feel that you didn't see this coming. It was unexpected and there was something here that you didn't imagine or you could never imagine you would feel this way. For somebody else here, Scorpio, you've got the self-love and the wisdom. If you have been in disappointment uh, of late or disappointing situations or dealing with a loss or dealing with things that are not as pleasurable, you've learnt a lot in your life. Someone with all this amount of standing on all these books, it's like you've dominated an area of your life or dominated a, a lot of knowledge. You've gained a lot of knowledge. You've dominated an area to give you the wisdom and the experience you have today. It's like you've dedicated yourself to books or to people or situations and through all of that, you've learnt a lot. But the one thing that you really know is that self-love is above all. Through this situation of the void, of the unexpected, you've learnt that loving yourself and learning and empowering yourself with knowledge is super, super important. This is someone who's realised through an experience or through a tragedy here that doing things for yourself and living the life that you want starts now. It doesn't start one day or if this happens I'll be able to. No, no, no. This is someone that's looking at life with different lenses right now. Something here made you realise that life is too short and it's to be enjoyed now. What else do we have here for Scorpio, please? Knight of Swords. Four of Pentacles. The Page of Cups upside down. And on the bottom, the Nine of Wands. Scorpio, this is 
something's happened and it's happened very quickly. That's what I feel here, that something this week is going to happen very quickly. And that's going to put you at a standstill, a place of thought, a place of stillness, a place of solitude, a place of keeping things to yourself, how you feel, what you want, what's, what you need. It's like something happens quickly. There's a message or, or a situation that takes place very quickly this week. And the unexpected puts you in a place of pondering, pondering how fast things happen, how fast things can change. And you're pondering here thinking, what is it that I am doing today that I need to change? My thought process after this information or this occurrence here changes the minute I go through this or I have knowledge of this. And it makes me realise that it's time for me to really plan and think about what it is that I want. For somebody here, you've learnt that depending on others and depending on people to make you happy is not what you think today it should be. For example, for someone here, you may have thought, when I meet that person, I'll feel complete. When I get to that stage, I will feel happy. What you're realising now is you don't need people to complete you. You don't need money and situations to make you more than what you are already. You need, what, what, what I'm getting here is that someone values now that self-love, education, wisdom, being in tune with what you want, how, how you're going to get it, who you are and what's important to you today is a lot more than having to defend yourself or, or defend yourself against others or waiting for others to complete you. Today, it's like you gain this whole perception and this, this new thought process that there is so much more in you than what you gave yourself value for. That you don't need others to complete you. You want others to be part of what you are, but they don't complete you. You complete yourself. You hold the key to your happiness, not others. So this is somebody here that has come to the realisation that if I depend too much on other people or certain situations or having material things to make me happy, then I'm missing the whole point. That I need to be happy with me first before I can enjoy all the other things that come to complement my life, not complete them. Does that make sense to anybody here? It's like a different, you, you're having now, Scorpio, a different perception about life to what you had before. And, some, and this is brought on by something that happens very quickly that you didn't see coming. Trust your instincts. Always listen to your inner voice. Your soul and your spirit are talking to you. If something doesn't feel right, that's probably because it's not. So trust your instincts in everything that you do. And when you go and do something or you, you, you think of uh, something, trust your instincts. Or even about people here, trust your instincts. Trader, in, exchange energy to create abundance. It's important we deal with others in order for us to grow. It's important that we um, trade 
thoughts and opinions and conversations with other people. That gives us a huge broader knowledge of what, how other people think and what other people think or what other people want, especially if you're in business. And this here is going to be part of that growth, part of that understanding, part of that wisdom. Surround yourself with protective energy. Right now, Scorpio, when you are vulnerable after going through something that was unexpected, it's important you have protection around you. And what I mean by that is not to fall into a big hole that you can't get yourself out of. Protect yourself with crystals or, or connect with nature. Allow yourself to grieve if you need to or, or take time to understand the whole process of what you're going through. But protect yourself and if that means you need to isolate yourself from others or places, then do that. It's important you do that for you. I hope that makes sense there, Scorpio. Lots of love and light. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.